Hello everyone and welcome back to another Battletech Career Mode 2 Heavy Metal. And my voice is still on the mend, so <laughs> please bear that in mind. Hopefully I'll be back to normal within a few days. So we're going to take on this battle contract, this three, three skull battle contract. Uh, but before we do that, we got some repairs and some experience to kind of give out. Um, so we have call shot mastery finally on bug here. So Mech warrior training complete. Um, at this stage, we can do a couple of things. Um, so kind of go in a little bit more detail. So how, what this basic lance is about is my vanguard. She's going to have uh, pretty much uh, precision shot all the time or within you know one or two rounds and if we focus fire an opponent or like a mech or a vehicle or whatever we can put that mech down the turn phases and then I can bring my rest of the lance up and focus fire that one mech bring that mech down cripple it do whatever to it it's kind of like the basic um, basic idea to what my lance is about so um and now that she has cold shot mastery now we can start taking more headshots um we can start thinking about you know getting that salvage uh table uh, working the salvage table a little bit more so we can start getting the gunnery up a little bit um we can start thinking about you know maybe getting to here that's going to give you 30 overheat threshold and stuff like that but we're probably gonna go up here a little bit a little bit more into this and maybe get some more um, accuracy so just a little bit of uh, insight to what I'm excuse me to know what I'm doing yes, commander. Yes, commander. You. Yes, commander. and uh, I have vodka going for a breaching shot here Okay, and let's get our mechs repaired. About a day's worth of repairs, so nothing too substantial. Other than our financial report that's coming up. Network orders. Ready to go over financials whenever you are. Alright. Now the next thing we're going to do are Argo just upgraded as well so let's look at that all right so we can do a couple of things here so it's important to note that I have really focused on the repair and refit for the most of this I didn't even touch the medical and personnel part of this this is kind of towards the mid to late game you want to work on this you want to work on um, especially if you're on hard difficulty you want to make sure you have the repairs and refits working with you and also training modules preferably you want to get the training modules as soon as possible that way you have mech warriors sitting in the bay or in their barracks and they're just gaining experience as you may use a main lance to um, you know do most of your missions and once one of your pilots gets injured you can just fill in the spot um, and then we have also the structure that's gonna help you kind of move on with this but this is also important here as well as the drive system so taking less time um, to getting to jump points is very important and we, that's our next Argo upgrade and then we'll go back to timeline and we'll get our max ready and now we'll take on the mission so we're gonna work with the Capellans and we're gonna go against the pirates unfortunately but it's gonna be it should be a fun mission. So satellite surveillance pictures show that a heavy lance has inserted onto the planet's surface by a pirate dropship. Currently, we believe they are securing their LZ, preparing for whatever operation they have planned. Before they finish securing the area, we'd like you to interrupt them. They are heavily armed, so expect strong resistance. So, kind of giving you a little bit of a clue. It's gonna be heavy mechs. Most likely, it's going to be uh, uh, reinforcements as well. So let's keep that in mind. Uh, the money and salvage on offer aren't too bad. The other thing that we want to keep in mind as well is 
why don't I just keep this in the back of your head before you take missions as well as what mechs you need so right now I'm trying to focus on into getting my heavy mechs right now not necessarily working on the mediums I could work on the mediums but you could we could look at them as well so if we see a Centurion 9 AL we could complete that with one P's same with the Hunchback 4 P and if we leg the Centur uh, the Wolverine 6k and the Hunchback 4G we can have those mechs as well so things that you, you know you want to keep in mind as you're playing through um, any kind of difficulty uh, but this is how my mindset is when I'm playing on the hardest difficulty. Now note, this playthrough right here is not on the 100% hardest difficulty. I'm just This is just a, a place filler for the moment. It is on hard difficulty. Okay, I'll show you what my settings are right now. Uh, let's see your difficulty. So I have randomized starting mechs. I'm on Iron Man mode. Unequipped mechs. Parts for assembly is 5, maximum is 8, advanced mech warriors are rare, contract payment is normal, mech destruction is off, um, my, uh, mech warrior progression is slow. So we have actually done very well with keeping our pilots, um, keeping our pilots in uh, good working order, good health. So, And then salvage is on normal and lethality and there's no rare salvage. So. Essentially, like I'm satisfying the total score multiplier, but this is not on the like complete have like hardest difficulty. But this is my uh, settings for now. If you're curious, okay, cool. All right, so we know we have um, a few. So if we kind of play our cards right, we could get an Orion, uh, Orion K, and a Grasshopper 5H. Now the other thing is you have to understand your lance and what it could take. So you know our our main lance is two Centurion, a Wolverine six R, and a Griffin one N. So you know overall it could take a little bit of a beating, but we still need to get the job done. We still need to go in and kill as efficiently as possible. So you know if the pr opportunity presents itself, then yes, we can go ahead and. Um, make the best decisions so we'll just use indiana for right now um i don't have anyone else with called shot but so that's fine uh yeah that works so let's deploy and i'm, I'm also curious if you guys want to you know if we want to theory theory craft uh the heavy metal uh, DLC Lance like what would be the best Lance uh, you know leave a comment in below if you want me to do that um, I can easily make a video on what would be the best Lance uh, obviously in my opinion and what we know uh, just leave it in the comments below I can you know I'm actually thinking about doing it anyways but if you're interested just you know just leave a comment below and you know I'll definitely make that video if you're interested all right let's drop in This is where the satellite pictures show the hostile lands touching down. Move up, make contact, and see what we're dealing with. Alright, so this map is very interesting. So, two key things to note. This is where the main lance is going to be. And this is where the reinforcements usually come from. So just keep the, just bear that in mind when playing on this map. I tend to push far right as much as possible. There are times where I can push into here. And then I can kind of work my way, but you're going to take uh, return fire pretty easily. The only problem with going this way is if, uh, you know, they can get on here potentially and take uh, and take the high ground from you. But we need to make it, we need to get here as soon as we can. Okay, so... It is confirmed, so when this thing kind of goes for a while, that means there's reinforcements on the board. So, unfortunately, HBS hasn't fixed that, and I honestly think they should. It kind of just gives that a little bit of um, mystery to what's out there. Location confirmed. 
And right now we're kind of wasting time, unfortunately. So we have to get up here. Okay. We just have to go. And I don't want to put my back to the road either. So it, when you're playing this map, just pay attention to the road. That's where the enemy's line of sight is going to be. So you want to make sure your max rear isn't facing that at all. Alright, so we have a 65 tonner on the board. It could be anything. Um, so we're just going to reserve down. Okay, all they have is heavy max, so we have turn priority. So let's look at his position. So he's kind of behind the rock. Commander. So what we want to do here, we have turn priority. Let's let them move in. Let's not... Yeah, let's not push in and then have them retaliate against us. I'd rather move in after they move. Okay, looks like they have some vehicles. That's fine. When you hear that rumbling, that's vehicles. Alright, so there's three things here. There's pot. This is usually four, I would imagine. Okay, I do have a shot. I don't know how clean of a shot it's going to be, but I do have a shot from the Griffin. And my Griffin's kind of blocking everybody in. So I'm going to have to move my Griffin. Okay, so it does have another vehicle that's probably going to shoot at us. Oh, it's a Catapult K2. Oh, yeah, that, that's got to go. That's got to go. And we got a head hit, by the way. All right. So once this enemy moves here, that uh, might be a... Uh... Okay, so 80 tons could be a uh, Shrek PPC carrier or a demolisher. Just keep that in mind as well. Uh, there might be another one, but I just can't recall it. So every time... So I'm just going to talk through my mindset a little bit here. So why I build my mechs the way I do is brawling mechs especially with SRMs, tend to have more head hits because I, for some reason SRMs just find the head a little bit more often. Um, again, in, in my opinion, that's how I see it. Um, so we got a head hit here. So this mech is in serious trouble. So we're in really good position because it's a tactician. Tacticians have three health. So now that we've taken one health away from it, all we need to do is leg it and then destroy the side. That's it. That's all we need to do and its side is facing us. So that gives us a great opportunity to make some moves here. Again, just trying to give you guys a little bit of insight. Good hit. And right now we're just moving in our force. Okay, we missed with that, unfortunate, but. Okay, move again. Hopefully, we're in range. We're in range of everything. So this is why, so this is my tactician, uh, my vanguard. So vanguards are very helpful in the sense of controlling the battle. And so now I have precision strike and I can easily push this mech out of the turn. Let's say if I had all, all heavy mechs, right? I can now push this mech out of the heavy phase and then move all my heavy mechs into that one mech and it makes it it just makes it so much better. So my plan here is to strip the leg and remove the leg. So I have 89% chance right now because of call shot mastery. Okay, so I get the leg. Let me get a knock down here. Now again, I'm not 
super focused on the vehicles right now, so I should have been paying attention. So 35 tonners are most of the time strikers. So this is the only one I'm con like really 100% concerned about, but he's kind of out of position. I have a feeling it's a demolisher, but uh, yeah. So I'm going to move up my less, you know, maybe my uh, griffin. So now remember, keeping your position kind of clear of enemy return fire from here, because that's where they're coming from. So we do see a striker. Um, let me see what the HP is on this. So it's 34. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... <clears throat> excuse me. I'm going to multi-target this and this. Now, it's probably not a good idea. Um, yeah, I don't like that. I'm, I'm not a fan of that, actually. Let's just confirm what we have and just move on. We'll take off a little bit. We'll just give it all SRMs. Alright, well, that didn't turn out well at all. So that's unfortunate. Now I got. Now I have to waste a turn. Alright. This time I'm not going to be too cute with it. Okay, so now you notice that tacticians can sometimes have 3 HP. <laughs> that is what we're looking at right now. So Pathfinder, I'm going to move Pathfinder up. And then we're just going to go right straight for the head and hope for the best. We didn't get it. That's fine. All right, so there's those reinforcements we anticipated, and obviously we didn't have our rear uh, facing that way, so not much damage taken. Again, that's my... That might be uh, my shield arm, so yep, should be. Here comes the strikers. Again, the only thing I worry about here is head hits here. They do have SRMs. Okay, here comes the K2. The K2 is like it's in really bad shape. Wasn't expecting anything at all to come from that. Alright, and this is a demolisher. Ouch. Took a hard hit there. Yeah, sure did. Yes, Commander. Alright, so we need to remove that from the field. Copy that. Stream prejudice, everything. Okay. Didn't quite do it, but see here my other centurion we're going to multi-target here uh, we're gonna put this into there and this into that didn't quite get it yet but all right it's unfortunate but that's the way it works sometimes like you just have to like okay you know, we got a little bit unlucky there, but we kind of played it well. Unfortunately, this demolisher just decided to show its face, so. Again, you know, necessary things sometimes. See ya. Ooh. <laughs> Look out. Alright. So... I wonder if I can get down this path. I can't get down this path. That's what I'm going to do. 
I feel like my rear would be exposed here, but I, I'm okay with it. They have just lerms, and I'm not really too concerned. I, I rather take side shots against vehicles. They're much weaker on the sides than on the rears. So we're almost done with the main lance already. Um, we kind of took a little bit of damage there, unfortunately. Okay, we're still we're still facing their side. <laughs> our sides are still facing them, so we're okay with that. Again, acceptable damage. Okay, so that's got to be a Jaeger out there. So, good to know they have path to shoot down this, this valley. Again, you know, I'm not really worried about losing so much armor on my shield arm. It's a shield arm for a reason. I'm kind of concerned about taking damage in the torso, but that's that's neither here nor there. All right, I'm gonna reserve down and then just vigilance and just play stompy robots here. Vehicles do double damage to with their melee, so it's 140 damage. Okay, the main lance is dead. But we still have to deal with the uh, reinforcements that's coming our way. So how do we do that? They're up here um, from what it looked like. So they might have to take some time to get down the road. And we'll give them that time. So Vaka's our fresh, freshest mech, so we're going to push her all the way up first. And I'm going to keep my right side facing now. Now, I know my my uh, griffin doesn't have jump jets on it. I'm just playing around. I'm just trying to see uh, what works and what doesn't work still, so. Okay, so we have a blip. That's the most likely the Jaeger. And uh, we'll play this game. I don't mind playing this game. He might be out in the open, but he's still braced. So I'm gonna allow him to come in. Okay, there's two 65 tonners. So it's a little bit of a problem, but it's not that big of a deal. We have the height advantage here. We have this little hill. Did he turn his back to us? No, he didn't. Okay, I'm just making sure. Commander. All right, so I don't mind sprinting in here, getting vision for my team. I just want to see what all my options are going to be like. So this is a uh, three evasion. That's not too bad. Um, but I'm going to see what my Centaurian Vodka can do. She can see, so we're going to allow her to go first and take shots. Um, so a Jaeger... A um, oh, this is a Jaeger A. So this Jaeger A doesn't have ammo in the center. So essentially all of its weapons are on its arms. Um, so we just want to just remove pretty much its side torsos. Again, anywhere we can soften is pretty much key. Um, let's see with the Griffin, what we could do with the Griffin. We can just move in. Again, the Griffin's kind of hurt, so I'm not entirely sold. Okay, Bug gets... Yeah, this is our right side, so we want to protect that side. Alright, into the leg, that's not bad. And then uh, the Wolverine has like nothing, so we're just going to sprint in the Wolverine at this point. So I don't know what else is there, it looked like it just could be a 3 mech lance or you know, there's vehicles behind that hasn't shown their face yet, but we're just going to deal with this as it comes. So I'm going to reserve down again. I'm here. And I'm just going to push down. Or push either up. I just want to make sure I have all my weapons available. I do. Alright, so Vodka's ready to tank. Unfortunate miss, but again, 
We're just trying to soften. Order. See if I can move my griffin up. I'd rather have evasion, but unfortunately that's not going to happen. Okay, we have pretty good shots here. I'm going to take them. Hopefully we can get it open and we can get some crits. Unfortunately, we don't have any crit weapons. I'm just going to generically shoot with Pathfinder. Maybe we can find the ammo, blow it up. Not quite. We do get a head hit though. It's an Outrider. Outriders tend to have 4 HP, I think. Now this mech was braced. Alright, but uh... Yeah, left side. Okay, there's the other mech. So, there's three Jaegers on the field. That's not really great. Dang, we didn't blow that up at all? Three HP. Alright, well here comes all three of those Jaegers. Now the Jaeger S has ammo in the center. Again, we're just going to accept the damage. The enemy is playing it smart, so there's another Jaeger A up there. Okay, so there's just three Jaegers. Again, the enemy is playing this really well. Um, so they're in a really good position. We are not in a good position, I would say. Uh, considering we have to make a decision. Now, that decision... So I'm going to wait on this cold shot, um, since it's using bold work and whatnot. Roger that. Standing by. Alright. At this stage, I'm just going to pull my, uh, pull out my griffin here. Unfortunately, it's just Standing not by. in a good position. Okay, another head hit, but again, <laughs> on a different mech, unfortunately. Alright. Alright, trying to soften again. We're gonna just take out this Jaeger. If we can crit the ammo, we didn't. Okay. So the right arm is exposed. So this is a pretty frightening lance to fight, I'm not gonna lie. Jaegers can strip armor pretty well. Alright, this guy took a head hit, so he might not be as accurate, but he's a freaking Jaeger, so he probably is not going to miss much. Oh yeah, look, up already unsteady. Alright, yeah, we know you're taking heavy hits. So hopefully we can just crit this guy off, kill him outright, whatever we can do here. There we go. Ammo explosion, Jaeger down. Phew. Alright. What do you need? Copy that. <clears throat> yes, I know I'm not using my cool invent ability right now. It's 
mech doesn't really necessarily require it, so I'm not really concerned. Alright, I'm tempted to bring back in my griffin. I just have to remind myself that we have to kill this thing. This thing doesn't probably doesn't have much HP at all. And Vaka still hasn't been touched. It's the only one that we wanted to get touched didn't get touched at all. All right. So the other the other guy does not have any vision on us. So he has to come down. All right. So he's there. We can see him. So what we can do now is we can do a double turn. So we're letting him move. Okay, so we should still be able to see him. Again, I'm not worried about doing any precision striking here. I'm just wanting to soften. So the griffin can't exactly get there, but we're just going to sprint in. Moving out. And then now, because of the AC5, we kind of take a cooling turn. Yeah. And essentially, you can play this game all the way through. Um, so, going into the next round... You can, ex you can essentially like push these guys out of vision again, let him move, then push back, and then shoot him again. He can't touch you. Um, that's how the double turn system works. We're gonna go right for center again. Structure is exposed. Again, he doesn't have armor there, but Should be able to kill him here. This is on should. Waiting for orders. Move into position. All I'm here. Coordinate for C. All right. So we're at his mercy in a sense. Alright, he took a lot to the center there. So he. Oh wow, he was 9 HP. And finally, the AI, the AI made a mistake there. He should not have shot him, but, you know, we'll take it. Um, again, we took a. a an, I don't know if it was an unnecessary. an unnecessary head hit, but either way we try to capture a K2 but we just couldn't do it. Mission successful. So we have three Jaeger Max, a K2, a demolisher, two strikers. Yeah, that's dangerous. I would say. Hmm. I think we just take the chance of rolling the other Jaeger mech A here. Nah. That's fine. Not great salvage, but again, we don't have any lost tech or rare salvage selected as you saw in my other screen. <laughs> all right thank you guys for watching i really do appreciate it again if you haven't already hit that subscribe button hit that rating button let me know in the comments below what you think of the video and again we do have a subscriber goal once we hit that goal the goal is 75 currently 
Um, once we hit 75 subscribers, I'll release a bonus video of this career mode playthrough. Again, guys, thank you so much for all your support. I really do appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one.